Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Bros Films channel. And because I'm super genius and everything, I figured out how to record on my iPhone when I cannot use the computer. So what I did is I used Everplay and then I just uploaded it to YouTube because I didn't really think it would upload to YouTube, but it did. And then I downloaded it from YouTube using this app called Documents 5, something like that. It's the one with like a whole bunch of five star ratings. So if you ever plan to do what I did, that's how you can do it. And yeah, it apparently worked really well, and now I have it on iMovie, which is even better because I have iMovie on my phone. So yeah, guys, we're going to be making a video today, even though I thought that I wouldn't be making one for like a week. So yeah, let's get to it. So sorry for the downgraded quality, but right now I'm on my Fokker Wolf 190, and I'm running away from this P39, which I'm more than certain would tear up this plane if I ever went in a dogfight with it. So I'm just going to go straight through this hangar right here, and then I'm going to go ahead and climb and hope my teammate takes him out. All right, if you're gonna take him out, now's the time because he's uh, shooting at me. All right, buddy, you better hurry up because I'm already in first person preparing for the cinematic crash. I gotta admit, I didn't think he was gonna be able to do it, but he did, so congratulations. Yeah, you guys probably couldn't read that. All right, so I feel like landing, but I'm not too optimistic about this landing because it's a Falk Wolf 190, we don't really expect much from this thing, so let's just see what happens right here. So I'm coming in pretty, pretty gentle, and then all of a sudden the plane just flips on me right there. And I mean, for 7,000 gold, you'd expect a little bit of a softer landing, but to my surprise, this plane actually didn't blow up, so I give it a 10 out of 10 on the durability test. So here we got ourselves a P-47 who feels pretty lucky today. So we're gonna go ahead and just shoot him up on the head on head. And to my shock, he, su he surprisingly survived that. Like, there was like so many bullet holes in his plane. I didn't, I actually didn't expect him to come out from that. But he, he came out on top, but we're gonna go ahead and chase him down and make sure that uh, he pays for surviving that somehow. I don't, P-47s are so much better than the Falker Wolf. All right, so right there we just took him out. I think we shot off his wing, and then our comrade's gonna go ahead and just finish him off just to make sure that he doesn't fly without a wing because that tends to happen a lot in arcade mode. So now we're gonna have this P-39 back on our tail, and the P-39 way outperforms the Falker Wolf in speed. Well, I wouldn't say it's faster than it by much, if at all, but it definitely turns better, which gives it the upper hand. It's almost like, a spit, it's almost like fighting a Spitfire. But, uh, except this thing got a 37mm gun, so you just gotta be a little bit careful with it. So as lucky as I am, I was able to force him to overshoot, but then I just don't land any hits because, because I don't land any hits every time I make someone overshoot, whether on purpose or not. I just make them overshoot and that's about it. <laughs> so yeah, that didn't go too well for me. So I didn't expect to get that kill at all. I thought all my shots missed, but check this out, guys. His his teammate's gonna run straight into the falling debris of the guy I just shot down. And we're gonna go land ourselves a double kill right there, which is pretty epic. I've never seen that before, so that was definitely an experience. Now looking back at the footage, I know where that came from. All right guys, now to be serious. How do you get good at the Falker Wolf 190? Not that I'm good at it or anything, but like, what's the trick? What what makes this plane special? It's honestly the 400 kilogram bomb, guys. I mean, don't even attempt to dogfight with this thing because you're just wasting your time. Uh, if you are gonna dogfight with it though, my only suggestion is just go head on head. And if it's not head on head, just bring a 400 kilogram bomb with you. Just to let the enemy know that um, you're prepared to blow up the entire fleet if they chase you. So just, just know that you do have a 400 kilogram bomb, which you, which you probably should be using if you have this plane. So let me just show you the sheer damage of this bomb right here. This bomb is equivalent to over 800 pounds in uh, whatever the opposite of metric is. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this right on the bridge right there. And it's gonna land us a solid, I don't know how many kills, but quite a bit. It's too, the numbers are too small for me to count, but uh, it's gonna land us 16 total when I'm done with this thing, but I do hit it twice. So we got ourselves a naval kill and 16 ground kills, which is 
an easy 2,600 XP, and if you get double, guys, that's like 5,200. So you're looking at a lot of XP with this plane if you can manage to drop your bombs. It's more of like a plane that you'd want to fly in formation with rather than for general purposes. The 109G does outperform this plane in every single way except in bomb capacity. So if you're looking just for a good dive bomber like the SBD Dauntless, this is basically your improved SBD Dauntless. Now it might just be like, why not get the P-47D? It has a better bomb capacity, it's stronger, outperforms this plane. Well, if you think about it, the P-47D is actually a lot more expensive than the Falker Wolf 190. The Falker Wolf 190 is only a one-time purchase for 7,000 gold, while the P-47D requires you to keep buying more and more planes and easily totals over 10,000 gold. So if you think about it, this plane is actually cheaper than the P-47D, and I'm pretty sure that's why this plane is so expensive, also because it's extremely, I think they put a lot of time into this plane, so it's also just a great way to support the developers just to get a nice premium plane, so it's just something to think about if you're complaining about the price. Hmm, I feel like I'm missing something. Oh yeah, that ship's gone. So as you can see, I managed to do pretty good this round with 7 air kills, 1 naval kill, and 14 ground kills. Wasn't 16, I thought I was for some reason, but we ended up with a lot of XP from this. This plane isn't terrible guys, it deserves a little bit more respect than it gets, but I'm out of, I'm out of footage. Alright, I'll just keep going. It deserves a little bit more respect than it's given. Uh, it doesn't compete really well with the Spitfire 5, but in certain events you can make it work if you remove the Spitfire 5 and the 109G. I feel like it'd be a good addition to the game, makes it a little bit more fun, and it's it's a pretty cool aircraft all around. I wouldn't say it's one of my favorites, but it's definitely fun to shoot bombers with, just because of the heavy armament. But all in all, guys, you're just another brick in the wall. Thank you for subscribing. I'll see you next time.